right, you guys, I wanted to make a video about this in Skylanders and Disney Infinity, but I'm gonna just make this one right now because the other ones are a little bit outdated. So a few months back, I was thinking, hey, let me make a video about Disney Infinity Skylanders and Amiibo because I'm thinking that this whole toy craze is getting a little bit crazy. I mean, you're spending $13 on a figure just so you can play a game that costs $60 or $70 if you buy it with the little pad that you put the figures on. And that's really ridiculous because it's a lot of money to be spending, especially one character, $13, but you gotta buy more and more and more. Then Amiibo came out and that's when my opinions changed a little bit. The long story short for that video is Disney Infinity and Skylanders, I see a bit of an issue with it because, well, you gotta buy the figures to play as actual characters in the game. That's a problem. And with Amiibos, well that was a different story because you don't really need them, it's just an accessory that you could have and it doesn't really do much but add like a little friend that you could play with and train. So now to get that out of the way, I want to talk about Amiibo specifically and the type of BS that is going on with Nintendo. So if you guys haven't heard already, there's a lot of news coming out really recently about these Amiibos. And news about Nintendo overall and how they don't know how to make any of their products in a massive quantity because Amiibos are going out of stock really fast and there's like really, really rare Amiibos now. I think the rarest Amiibo is probably Marth from the very first wave. Marth along with the Villager and Wii Fit Trainer, which I actually have because, you know, you need to, you need to get fit. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta... I'm gonna put this down now. So those three from the very first wave are now rare, which is a little bit scary because now people know that Amiibos are going to be rare and have different rarities to them. And you kind of see that happen with the second wave as well. Now, I don't know why Nintendo did this, but if you didn't hear, the second wave came out in two different parts. So there was wave two part one, which came with Zelda, Diddy Kong, and Little Mac, I think Pit as well. And then there was wave two part two, which came with Captain Falcon and, and, and. The point is they split them up into two different parts and they didn't even release all of the figures at once, which was a little smart because, you know, it's a lot to buy at one time, but a little dumb because nobody saw us coming until like, I don't know, right before it happened. Everybody rushed to the store to buy these Amiibos and then found out that only three of them were in stock and the rest of them were, you know, to be released later on. This has not yet been proven, but out of all Wave 2, I believe that Little Mac is probably the most rare of all. Because whenever I go to stores, I can't find Little Mac, I can't find Captain Falcon, and I can't find Pit for my life. I can find Zelda, I can find Luigi, and I can find Diddy Kong, but the rest of them are nowhere to be seen. I mean, even as I'm saying that, I also have two of the ones I just said, like right here in my hands, but still, they are kind of hard to find still. It took me a while to find them myself. And as for Little Mac, I got a little bit of a story for y'all. So I went to a GameStop near me to buy Little Mac, and well, the dude at the store said, hey, we got two in the back. I don't know if we're supposed to sell them just yet, but let me check for you. Scan him into the system. He said, all right, well, we can sell it to you. I bought one and wouldn't you know it, the dude behind me, he wanted one too. He got one, I got one, GameStop sold out of them just like that. So Nintendo does have a little bit of a supply problem going on, especially with the GameCube adapters that were supposed to be made for Super Smash Bros. 4. Because there's such a high demand for those and such a low supply, so now people online are selling them for maybe 80 to to $100, and people are actually buying them because they can't find them anywhere else. And even me recently, I had a little bit of an issue with Nintendo and their supply and demand problems because I wanted the special edition for Majora's Mask 3DS. And if you guys have not heard about this, well, as soon as that came up online, as soon as that was even announced, 10 minutes, gone. Completely. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. A 10 minute time frame where you could pre-order it online, gone. Completely. That's crazy. And honestly, I'm sitting here and I'm mad. And after I hear this news, guess what? The same week that they announced this, they also, Nintendo put up more GameCube controller adapters online and they sold out within 10 minutes as well like 
what is going on? But outside of that, let's talk about these amiibo issues because there's a lot of stuff that's going on that's going on. If you guys have heard about these things, you might have. If some of this is from like a while ago, one thing I gotta talk about is recently hurts me personally, but I'll get to that in a little bit. First of all, if you have not gotten updated on this amiibo craze, where have you been? Amiibos are these $13 basically figures that have NFC chips on them and the bases like on the bottom right here basically you scan them onto your Wii U gamepad and you can put your characters into certain games like you can put your your figure character into Smash Brothers you can scan some of them into Mario Kart 8 you can, you can unlock costumes for your me or you can scan them into Hyrule Warriors and unlock different weapons and items and rupees and stuff like that but that's not the only reason people buy them because well outside of them having a function within the actual game they also have the function of sitting on my damn shelf and looking pretty as shit there's a lot of collectors have been getting these and getting them in heavy amounts because they're just so great they're actually worth a lot now like i said before there are rare ones now and people are just picking them up as soon as they release there are pre-orders that are selling out like crazy and wave four wave four has not been announced yet but so far wave three which comes out within i think a couple weeks is already sold out on amazon uh, i believe that gamestop is almost sold out of all of their pre-orders for it and for the moment being you can't really even guarantee that you'll get an amiibo unless you pre-order it first i mean it's gotten to the point where all right i'm gonna, start, I'm gonna show you this there is an amiibo for samus correct now notice her figure and look, look, notice how it looks great right so it's gotten to the point where somebody found a figure that instead of having one arm cannon has two now how much does that change the price exactly? Because Sam isn't supposed to have two arm cannons. That is extremely rare. How much would you say that goes for? 200? No. 500? No. 800? No. Try $2,500. That is $2,000 for just this that cost one dude $13 to buy. That's ridiculous. There's even been a case recently of somebody selling a peach amiibo that uh, didn't have Peach's legs on it. So you couldn't see her legs under her skirt. They just weren't there. And they sold that one for $500, which again is really crazy. And even then, to take this even further, people have been modding their figures. For example, I can show you the Link figure right here. People have taken this figure, which actually is really high in supply. Nintendo made so many of these that no matter where you go, if they have Amiibos, they will have Link. They will have Link, they'll have Mario, they will have Donkey Kong, and they will have Pikachu, possibly Kirby, and then possibly Peach. They will definitely have those in stock wherever you go. And what they did was they basically painted his figure black to make him into Dark Link and people have been buying the crap out of those because they're so hot right now and the same thing with the villager amiibo i don't actually have that one on me but they've taken that amiibo and they've given him an axe to make him into a real murderer basically covered him in blood and made him look really awesome it's taken this whole amiibo thing to another level because i never thought it would become this much but i don't know at first when they first said it was going to be a thing i was like this is not going to do well people are going to hate this it's just like skylanders it's like disney affinity i'm not going to buy it i'm not going to get into it and then as soon as it came out, I was like, all right, I might just buy one or two. First day that it actually came out, I ended up buying four of them. Personally, I, 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 bought, I bought four. I couldn't help myself. Went back and I bought a fifth one. And again, I couldn't help myself. And then as soon as Wave 2 came out, I was frantically trying to find them. Because I wanted Little Mac, I wanted Captain Falcon, and I wanted Zelda. I got all three of those, so I'm satisfied with that. And now, currently, I pre-ordered the next set of Amiibos that are coming out. And I honestly am happy, except I'm not getting some of them because I don't know how to get them because people are assholes and Nintendo has a supply problem that is really affecting me right now. It sucks so badly. And honestly, I'm not even going to blame it on Nintendo entirely because one of the Amiibos that I want has a really, really annoying story behind it. And I, I, I read this recently, this is actually a really recent story that came out maybe two or three days ago, and 
it's it, it really just hurts me down to my soul. So apparently, some dude hates Rosalina. She he she, he hates her guts so much because he thinks that she shouldn't be as popular as she is. Nintendo is really marketing the, the crap out of Rosalina and putting her in Mario Kart 8, putting her in Super Smash Brothers, and she's gonna become a part of the Mario crew now. You know, she actually just snuck her way into it with Wario, Waluigi, and, and Luigi, Peach, Donkey Kong, sort of. Bowser, she's in there now. She's actually a really big part of it. She's actually in uh, Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U. So she made her way into the franchise very nicely. And personally, I think that she's cool. I really wanted her amiibo figure. Some dude who hates her so much decided he's gonna take it upon himself to he's gonna pre-order, not buy, because they're they're not released yet. He pre-ordered 100 Rosalina and Luma. Amiibo figures for himself. Mind you, this is, an, this is a really big issue because Rosalina is exclusive to Target, which means she's even in lower supply than usual. You can't find her anywhere else but Target. So now he pre ordered 100 of her and he hates her. So either he's going to number one burn all of these amiibos or he's going to sell them online for ridiculous prices. And here's the kicker. The dude said that he spent $4,000 buying amiibos so far. This is ridiculous, okay? I've only spent maybe a little over $100 on the amiibos that I have right now. I have eight. They cost like $13 each. You do the math. So I haven't spent that much and I pretty much have all the ones I want. I don't have all of them. I might have possibly half of the ones that are already released. But this dude has spent $4,000 buying them. Not only buying Rosalina, he has bought many other ones. He has a picture with him putting up the middle finger at like 12 or so boxes of Captain Falcon Amiibos un- open they are just fresh in the package and the dude also said that he has 25 it may be 25 it may be 35 thousand dollars left to buy more amiibos he's not only setting his sights on you know rosalina and luma and captain falcon he has his eyes set on a lot of them he even bought so many of the villager and marth amiibos the rare ones mind you he has a box stacked up with them. He has a picture of him doing the same middle finger. It's the same hand of his. He has a box of them. A box of these rare amiibos. Currently, he's saying that he's going to buy other female amiibos like Lucina. He's going to buy Robin. He's going. Well, Robin isn't really a female, but. Uh, Alright. Ro Robin's both, technically. He's going to buy Palutena and Zero Suit Samus, which also I really want. And he's basically going to ruin this for a lot of people. So honestly, this entire thing is crazy. If any of you guys have been buying Amiibos, I would recommend to you go out and pre-order them immediately. GameStop may have some pre-orders available. If you're looking to buy them, do it fast because people are getting crazy. Nintendo doesn't have as much supply on their products anymore. And if you want something, you gotta pre-order it immediately. And honestly, it sucks because I might not even be able to get a Rosalina and Luma figure now. Not only that, I might not be able to get a Shulk figure because that's exclusive specifically to GameStop. And when I went to pre-order it, well, that shit was sold out quick as shit. People are buying these like crazy, like super crazy. And it even gets worse because, well, there's more exclusives. Meta Knight is an exclusive, Lucario is an exclusive, I think that's about it for the exclusives. But it's really just ridiculous how they're making these exclusive now and now they're even in lower supply, so they're a lot harder to find. Let me just tell you that. So I've been going on and ranting and raving for a little bit too long for this video, and I know you guys might think that I'm such a weirdo, like, well, you're buying Amiibos, what the fuck is wrong with you? But honestly, hey, I got really attached to them and addicted to them, and from now on, I'm probably going to be buying at least five from every wave that comes out, which is a little bit sad to say so, especially for my wallet. But what do you guys think about the Amiibo craze, and will you be buying any of them, will you be pre-ordering any of them, are you mad 
that some of them won't be available because there's assholes like this dude out here who is just taking them all for himself? Leave me a comment in the comment section down below and tell me what you guys think about all this. For now, it's me, Otaku, saying stay gold, and I will see you guys later.